Now the seventh section starts, as I told you, with the same story of Adam and Iblis. And when we said to the angels, prostrate before Adam, they all prostrated except Iblis. But this is the only place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has clarified that Iblis was not an angel. Kana minal jinn. He was one of the jinns. Now, Malaika were created out of light. In the same way, human spirits, arwah, they are also created out of light. Jinn, jinnat, they were created out of fire. And lastly, human beings along with all the animals of this, on this world, they were created from the, this dust or mud or whatever you may call it, from the clay. So these are three levels of creation. Highest level from light, the angels and the human spirits. Second intermediary level from fire, they are the jinnat. And the lowest level, our animal being. But our existence is twofold. This animal being is at the lowest level, but of the highest level is the spirit that is blown into us. So we have a double existence. While jinnat, they are midway, but they are better than our animal existence. But we are better than them due to the spirits that have been blown into us. And that those are from the light. So jinn can disobey Allah. Humans can disobey Allah. But now the question is why this was included among the angels? They say that he was a very pious, very pious, very learned jinn. And he had been joined with the angels. Because, you know, Noor and Nar are very close to each other. Malaika created out of Noor. And Jinnat created out of Nar. And Noor and Nar, they are very close to each other. In between is one harfa'illat, as they call them, which interchanges from this to that, from Alif to Waw and Ye. These three letters, you know, they are ruful illa. Anyhow, there is not time for these discussions. Kana min al he was from among the jinns. Fafasaka namri rabbihi, so he disobeyed the command of his lord. Fafatat tahizuna hu wa zuriyatahu awliya bin duni wa humlukum adu. Now, you, O oh, the progeny of Adam, do you want to take him, Iblis, and his progeny, friends to you, leaving me, your lord, who placed Adam, your grandfather, above the jinnat and above the malaika. But now you are befriending Iblis. He is your, he is your enemy. Now you are befriending this Iblis and his progeny and leaving me. Although they are your enemies. Bad is the exchange for these evildoers. Not befriending Allah, but befriending Iblis. Ma ashatuhum khalqa sababati wal ard. I had not taken then witnesses when we created the heavens and the earth. Wala khalqa al fusayn. Nor the creation of themselves. Wa ma kuntu muttakhid al mudillin azuda. And I am not the one who can take these people who led others to astray as helpers. This subject has come many times before also. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, now call those people or those deities or those gods, false gods that you used to call upon and pray in the, in the, in the life of your, that world. They will call them. But they will not answer them. وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهُمْ مَوْبَقَى And we shall set up a gulf of destruction in between them. وَرَعَلْ مُجْرِمُونَ النَّارِ And these culprits, these evildoers, they will see the fire. فَزَنُّوا أَنَّهُمْ مُوَاقِعُوهَا And they will be sure now that they are going to be thrown into it. وَلَمْ يَجِدُوا عَنْهَا مَسْرِفَا And they will not find any escape, any place to to save themselves from this fire. 
This ayah was there in Surah Ubani Israel also. Only the sequence of the words is changed. We have explained in this Quran for the benefit of humanity all the similitudes will kulli muscle and in the various forms, various words, various styles, various sequences. But man is more than all the creatures in quarreling. He is more quarrelsome than any of the creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is not ready to accept. And nothing has prevented the people in believing when this guidance has come to them. And so that they ask forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the only reason is that the unfortunate end of the ancient nations is going to come to them. Or the divine chastisement will come before them face to face. And we don't send and we have not been sending our messengers except as the bearers of the glad tidings and as warners. And those who disbelieve, they rebut the truth by falsehood. So that they may rebut the, the truth with batil. And they have taken my revelations, my ayat, with which they are being warned as a mockery, as a laughing stock. Who is more evil doer than the person who is reminded, admonished with the revelations of his Lord? He turns his face away from them. And just forget what his both hands have sent forward in stock in the, for, for the life hereafter. Inna jalna ala akinnatan. We have put on their hearts wheels. This ayah also has appeared in Surah, Surah Bani Israel. We have read it. They can't understand it. We have put heaviness in their ears. And if you call them towards guidance, they are, they are never going to be guided to the right path. Now they have rejected the truth and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also put a seal on their hearts. Your Lord is a forgiving Lord. A merciful. Had he seized human beings, mankind, on whatever they did, I commit a sin now and Allah gives the punishment right now. Well, in that case, we have read before also, no, no living creature would have persisted or we would have remained on the earth. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't punish immediately. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have sent the chastisement for them very early. But lahum no. For them there is a time fixed. And they will not find any escape from that fixed time. These are the cities where Qawmi Aad, nation of Aad, nation of Hud used to live. Those places where Samud, to whom Hazrat Saleh was sent, used to live. Those cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, to which Hazrat Lut was sent. We destroyed them. And for their destruction, we had fixed a time. A time which was fixed for that. 